So, you want to learn how to hunt? Is that what I'm hearing? I know how to shoot a gun. It's a rifle, not a gun. I was in the 10th Mountain Cope. Don't give me any Marine Corps bullshit. Killing a buck's a little different than killing a man. Or a freak. The best way to hunt an animal is to track it. You gotta focus. And see what nature's trying to tell you. If you look hard enough, you'll see the signs. Okay, then. Look hard. See this pile of deer scat? It's fresh. Yeah, I see it. They lead this way. <laughs> yeah, I can see that. Well, come on, man. Oh, I've got some pistol? Quick. There's your buck. I see him. Now here. Use my rifle. If you were in the Tenth Mountain, you know how to use a scope. Yeah, Cope, I know how to use a scope. Easy, easy. I got this. Got him. Nice shot. Oh, God damn it! it wasn't a kill shot. He got away. Oh, no, no, that's okay. You wounded him. He'll bleed out sometimes. We just gotta track him. Okay. So one shot will kill him. Yeah, I see him. Then follow him. On it. He'll be slowing down about that. We should be coming across his carcass any time now. Okay. Yeah, look. Cope, Boozer and I have been hunting before. He used to go elk hunting with his old man, and yeah, he uh, he showed me how to gut a deer. Well, let's just say no disrespect to Boozer, but you've got a lot to learn. You're wasting a lot of meat there. Overall, not bad for a beginner. Yeah, thanks. Now, I'll take back that rifle. Here, thanks. Like I said, Deke, we can always use more venison at the camp. Still got some folks trying to heal up from that Ripper attack. Okay, Cope. Yeah, I'll see if I can remember that. How's it going, booze man? Fine, God damn it. Hey, Deke, we're getting low on supplies. Do some more meat if you get a chance. Oh, shit. Okay. Uh, I guess it's been a while since we did any hunting. I'll see if I can scare up some meat while I'm out. You, uh, you remember what you're doing? <sighs> yeah, I had Cope give me a few pointers, believe it or not. Cope? Shit, I don't believe it. Thanks, Deke. See you, booze man. All right, now I just gotta find some meat. Uh, deer, bear, wolf, uh, fuck, don't matter to me. This is Radio Free Oregon. The truth shall set you free. I grew up in these here woods. My grandfather taught me all about hunting. Funny how it still works in a world he never would have dreamed of. I built my first tree house to use as a deer blind. Getting height on your target helps your aim and keeps you safe. Back then, I took out my first doe from up top. Today, my camp's up in the trees. You want to survive and can contribute, you come to me. We got you covered. Grandfather also taught me to catch a doe. Sometimes you gotta lay an ambush. Hide where they need to go, like a watering hole. Today, you're a 
is likely to be prey is Hunter. So you gotta keep your eyes peeled when you're hitting up places we all need to go. My grandfather always said the easiest way to a good meal was to lay a trap. Put a snare by a tree, and you could have dinner next time you come round. But careful. A headless snake can still bite. Especially when it ain't really dead. <laughs> My grandfather would have outlived us all. Let me tell you. This is Mark Copeland for Radio Free Oregon. Don't believe the lies. Hey, Cope, so you and your granddaddy set traps for him, and you and your old man used to lay down salt licks. That's real sporting. Uh, guess none of that shit matters now. I hate the monologues, man. Uh, the whole radio retaliation thing. A lot of them are really bad.